Hey, so what's going on guys? Make it with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Autobox Defender XT. So if you've been following the channel long enough, you've seen I've done a video on the similar case from Autobox for the iPhone XS Max, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I used it for other models as well for the S9 Plus many, many years back. So without further ado, let's quickly get into the packaging real quick. So right here, you can see that it retails for 309 ringgit. So let's quickly go through the unboxing. So it's already open, so I've just packed it back. So we do have some uh, manuals and stuff like that, which we don't need to see. All right, let's take a look at the case itself. So in order to take out this card right here, we need to remove the front portion, which is putting your nail in here. Just take it out. Okay, so... You can see how to install it right here there's also a qr code if you do want to check out their video okay let's take a look at the back of this case autobox brandy you can see the cutout for the camera so this portion and also the ring around it is all made of tpu i should say more towards a softer silicone style material similar to the autobox defender lineup okay so on the left side we can see our button for the mute volume up and down we do have a clamp for the holster which doesn't come in the package i guess you have to buy it separately okay at the bottom you can see that there's a lanyard strap right here this in fact this case didn't come with a lanyard so i'm not too sure about that we can just get one very cheap so there's also a cutout for your microphone there's a flap for your usb type c port as well as your cutout for your speaker so all the cutouts and all the pots are not obstructed. You can see Autobox branding right here. And then there's another clamp for your holster. And this is for the power slip on and off button. Okay, on the inside we can see this is made of polycarbonate. So this has also a massive ring right here. The massive ring overall, the grip is really, really good. As you've seen, I've tried it with a couple of... Uh, Power banks with MagSafe power banks and also original MagSafe Duo and stuff like that and yeah, it works really fine. So the difference between the older version and the new version is that this is polycarbonate. So gone is the microfiber lining of the back and now it's just hard TPU. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. You can see really well protected. You do not have to worry if you drop your phone in this case. It's definitely going to protect your phone. Okay, let's take a look at the top portion. So another design change is also that the speakers come out from the bottom, no longer from the front. So for me, it's a, kind of a letdown because I did like that design. And in the previous version, they did have uh, mesh covers for the speaker and the microphone grills as well. And also the previous gen, they had a rubber gasket right here. But on this generation, it's all gone. So yeah, other than that, yeah, it works just like the previous version. Okay, so I do have a tempered glass screen protector. In fact, this is a full coverage one. I did have to adjust the tempered glass screen protector. So if you're using a full coverage tempered glass screen protector, you do have to bear in mind that uh, this might not fit so well. Even if it fits, it's super snug. Uh, some may, of you may like it, some of you may not. But for me, I did have to adjust my screen protector to actually fit on the top portion. I did have to measure uh, the tolerances and stuff like that so it's yeah it's a bit of a hassle but once you get it in then no worries right there okay so to install your phone i should say put the bottom first and i highly how you put it's going to be the same because they are two-piece case and then if you have a tempered glass screen protector the easiest way is to actually slot the bottom in first that's which is what i'm doing right now so slot the bottom in get it all worked in all those uh the rubber gasket or should i say the rubber piece okay maybe you should get like that okay so you just have to slide your nail i don't have a nail not right now and you slide your nail around the corner you can see that it's going in and the top as well just get my nail right in there okay let me start on the bottom i think that would be easier slide it all the way in Did i just on the flashlight no Okay, just have to slide all the way in. Okay, so we are done. It's definitely tougher with a uh, screen protector installed. But overall, the fitment, you can see right here, super, super nice. Super snug. 
I do like how it actually looks. In this case, really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the ports. See right here, all spot on as usual. You can see the grills. I think the buttons are very nice and responsive. Very easy to press. Let me just show you the ring. You can see right here, no problem right there. What else should I show you? You can see the camera cut out. Very really nice and spot on. So overall, this case, uh, from my experience, has been really, really good in protecting my phone. I did drop my phone, in fact, on the road, like twice. And you can see how the phone falls and how it bounces off the road that you know that your phone is actually protected and the case is absorbing all the shock. So I think that's, a, that's what you're paying for. The big bucks is to pro protect your investment. Alright, so that concludes my video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.